Namaste yogis. Go ahead and come to a comfortable seated position on your bed. Sit up nice and tall, start to soften the shoulders and just breathe. You can flip the palms to face up and bring the hands together into your heart center. Taking a deep breath in. Reach those hands up and then twist. Right hand across, left hand behind, just gazing over your left shoulder. Inhale and circle that left arm up and all the way across to the other leg. Right arm follows behind you. Twist, looking over your right shoulder. You can circle that right wrist. And inhale, reaching it all the way up and across to the other side. And slowly sitting back into center. Bring your feet together. Baddha Konasana, feet together, knees out to the sides and just melt your body forward. Breathing here. You can round your spine and tuck your chin in. Don't worry if you don't go as deep as I am. Just find what feels good for your hips. Keep softening the shoulders. Breathing slowly. When you're ready, start to walk your hands back in. Take your time. Kick that right leg out to the side. Toes pointing up. You can tuck the left foot in if that feels good. Inhale, slide that right hand down. Exhale, reach the left arm up and over. On your next inhale, lift yourself back up into center. And then on an exhale, you can forward fold, sliding the hands out in front of you. Keep those right toes pointing up. If you want to deepen the stretch, you can always bend the elbows like mine are, or you can just relax the hands forward and rest on your elbows. Slowly come back up, switch sides, right foot in, left leg straight out to the side. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, just slide that left hand down, right arm reaches up and over. Breathing into it, opening up that side body and on your next inhalation, stretch yourself back up into center. And exhale and forward fold, slide the hands down. However, it's comfortable for you to just Allow the space to be created in the hips and the spine. Relax. Slowly bringing it back in. When you're ready, come onto all fours and just walk the hands forward and melt the chest down for puppy dog pose. Really stretching out the backs of the arms, the chest, the shoulders. Then rest your head down. When you're ready, slowly sit back into child's pose. Breathing, tucking the chin down slightly. When you're ready, slowly coming back up. See the position on your knees. Maybe it feels good just to roll the neck out a little. And then coming back into a tabletop position. Reach the right hand up. And then on an exhale, tuck the hand behind your left wrist and slide down onto your shoulder. You can stay here or you can wrap that left hand behind your back for a deeper twist. Just breathing. Imagine like you're wringing out a sponge. The spine is getting elongated when you're ready. Slowly take the left hand back down. Press into it to come back up. Inhale, the left hand up, and exhale, slide it through behind your wrist, creating that twisting sensation, and then wrapping if you want, or just keeping that right hand grounded if that feels better. Twisting into the upper spine, and then as you exhale, slowly take the right hand back down and press back up. We're going to take a down dog, so just grip the sheets and reach the chest back. So it's not so much about alignment here, we're just stretching out the hamstrings if you wanna bend the knees one at a time, if that feels good. Just kinda of swaying the weight right and left. And then when you're ready, dropping the knees back down, maybe a little cat-cow motion as you slowly come back to a seated position on your knees. Whenever you're ready, just breathing, 
honoring your space. You can sit however's comfortably if you need to adjust. Just checking back in. Maybe your eyes are closed, but you can take the legs wide and then just go ahead and forward fold if that feels good. You can always take it a little bit wider if that feels good for your hips, but no need to force anything. This is a real self-care practice as we connect to our bodies in a really relaxed and calm way. Whenever you're ready, slowly coming back up. And we're going to just come down onto our backs, however that looks to you, and hug the knees in towards your chest. If it feels good to rock or make circles with the knees, you can. When you're ready, hands out to the sides and twist, dropping the knees over to the left. If you want to kick it up a notch, you can kick that right leg straight and grab the foot with your left hand. It's really intense, so no need to force anything. And when you're ready, inhale the knees back into center and exhale, dropping them over to the right. Maybe you extend the leg or maybe you just stay in that soft twist, whatever feels best for your body. When you're ready, coming into a happy baby position, grabbing onto your heels, you can stay here, or you can kick the legs straight if that feels right. And whenever you're ready, bringing those feet together, Supta Baddha Konasana, left hand over your heart, right hand over your tummy, just breathing allowing the space to be created in the hips softening through the shoulders and just breathing here feeling gratitude for your body being able to practice your mind for being willing to release and let go and your spirit for guiding you here today ready start to bend the knees hands down by your sides inhale and lift the hips up towards the sky and then as you exhale just slowly lowering back down when you're ready just cross the legs reach the arms up as you inhale as you exhale kick the legs up towards the sky and cross that right ankle over your left thigh. You can grab onto the knee or the thigh, whatever feels better for your hip there. Just pull it in towards you. If you wanna take it even a step further, maybe you'll kick that left leg straight, but there's no pressure. You can keep it bent if that feels better for you. Just exploring in our bodies and finding whatever little subtle movements feel good. And slowly tuck that right foot a little deeper into the crease of the hip and straighten the left leg down. Half lotus. And then if you want an extreme variation, you're gonna kick that leg straight and bring it across the body. It's really intense and so no pressure if that doesn't feel good for your body. You can always skip. And then just bringing that right knee across to twist. If you want to deepen the twist, you can grab onto your left ankle with your right hand. And then whenever you're ready, we're going to come to the other side, bring the knees in, crossing that left ankle over your right thigh. Maybe you hold onto the thigh or the right kneecap. Or if you took that straight variation, you can do that as well. Just finding what feels good for my body my breath can I breathe deeply where I'm at 
and slowly bringing it into that half lotus that left foot's tucked up into the right hip right leg is straight if that's too much you can skip it and go straight into the twist or you can have that leg straight for that external stretch really deep stretch whenever you're ready just releasing the legs either into a cross-legged position or shavasana Maybe your legs are lifted with the pillows whatever feels good for you to just release even if it's just for a moment where you can honor your breath and clear your mind maybe supta baddha konasana felt good and you want to go back honoring the mental and physical space that you're in, emotional space that you're in. Taking a moment to just be, you can roll over to your side, relax there. Slowly bringing your body back to this space. And if you're feeling like it's bedtime for you and you just want to drift off into the astral realms, you're more than welcome to just let this video end. If you're going to get up and maybe go about your day or continue on, maybe you'll come to a comfortable seated position. Just sitting with this energy that you've cultivated, observing the shift in your mind and your body, your spirit, just feeling connected to the breath. So grateful and happy in this moment. With peace. Maybe you stretch out the neck if that feels good. Maybe some deeper meditation can be applied now. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste. May you be able to find peace and tranquility wherever you're at.